It's easy for homeowners to fall into the trap of wanting to throw gadgets into your home, especially if you're a techie, in a bid to maximize your home efficiency and running costs. And it's easy to be misled by sales. So this is just the first of many videos from us looking at thermal storage technology. And in this video specifically, we look at the Mixergy tank. Unlike electricity, Heat is a very wasteful form of energy and much more precious because once you've created it and stored it, it will slowly dissipate into the surrounding environment. Mixergy is a novel hot water cylinder that allows you to vary the amount of hot water you create and store by heating from the top of the cylinder down, creating a very defined thermocline. This thermocline has usable hot water at 50 to 60 degrees on the upper side and cooler water on the bottom, giving you the advantage of being able to accurately measure and choose the volume of water you have via the controller on your tank or app. What's more, the Mixer G app also works intelligently with variable rate electricity tariffs, so you can load your Mixer G up when power is at its cheapest and cleanest, and because it can see how much hot water you use daily, only provide and store what you require and no more, unless you choose it to. This original concept is great and really helps homeowners who are on gas or electric and want to decarbonize their heating in the cheapest possible way. There are a few points around the marketing I'd like to put into context though. First of all, Mixergy states in a few places it provides hot water 10 times quicker. Due to the fact it concentrates its heat to the hot water outlet at the top of the cylinder, this is true. However, it's not necessarily true if you're using hot water for a shower, as the water in a shower will be used up around three to four times faster than an immersion replenishing the heat. Maybe if you don't have a dishwasher and you were gonna do the washing up, it may be 10 times faster. Luckily, there is a level indicator, so you can see how much hot water you have, and when you think you might have enough hot water, and you can set the minimum hot water storage volume to prevent getting caught out. It's also worth noting that minimizing the amount of heated and stored hot water is even more beneficial if you're on a smart tariff, as it gives you more spare capacity to store heat when the tariffs are super cheap. Mixergy also have options for working with gas boilers, solar thermal, solar PV, and heat pumps. If you have the boiler version of the Mixergy, you can choose to only use the immersion when it's cheaper than the boiler to heat the cylinder, which is great. This will provide hot water a lot quicker and still leave room in the store for cheaper, cleaner immersion powered heat, should it become available. Although it should be clear, a high quality cylinder and correctly set up system could be up to 10% more efficient due to being able to utilize lower flow temperatures. If you have a heat pump, however, I would currently just use a correctly set up high quality cylinder. Heat pumps are less efficient when you run them at the higher temperatures needed for Mixergy's original concept. For that reason, once you've connected your heat pump to a Mixergy, the Mixergy automatically changes its operation to heat the whole store to the same temperature, just like a normal cylinder. They tell us that this still then stores cheap rate or excess solar PV energy on top of the water heated by the heat pump. However, you're much better off multiplying this cheap or excess PV electricity through a 400% efficient heat pump than using it through a 100% efficient immersion heater. You can do this by simply using a home energy storage battery, which then powers the heat pump, but there's another better way I will explain shortly. Additionally, heat pumps actually work less efficiently with a Mixergy compared to a cheaper, higher quality, correctly set up standard cylinder, despite Mixergy suggesting that their tank will increase heat pump efficiency by six to 10%. There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, there's no temperature sensor pocket to tell the heat pump the temperature of the cylinder. For maximum efficiency, heat pumps should be able to control their flow temperature when reheating a hot water tank. The Mixergy uses what's termed as a resistor switch, which basically tricks the heat pump into thinking the store is in a fixed cold state when calling for heat, then tricks the heat pump to say that the cylinder is in a hotter state than the heat pump is targeting in the heat pump controller. This in turn means the heat pump has to be set to a fixed higher flow temperature above what it thinks the store is eventually going to be reaching. It also means that unless you set your heat pump's target hot water flow temperature to extra high to run an anti-Legionella program, you'll have to use the 100% efficient Amixergy immersion heater for anti-Legionella instead of the heat pump. 
And the last and most important reason I would use a standard cylinder is that there is a way of emulating what Mixer G provides and doing it much more efficiently with much less parts to go wrong simply by varying the hot water store temperature. First of all, if you watch our hot water temperature and Legionella video, this will give you an understanding and a graph to help you select the lowest safe temperature your hot water can be set at that you're comfortable with. My hot water is stored at 45 degrees, for example. For comparison, showering temperature is usually around 38 degrees Celsius. This lower store temperature lowers the standing losses of the cylinder and maximizes the heat pump efficiency. This is what I'm doing on my cylinder at home. And to make sure I'm turning over enough hot water to avoid Legionella, I've installed a water meter to monitor my use and boost the temperature if needed. You can then use your smart grid ready connections, most heat pumps now have, to set different store temperatures and make use of the up to five times multiple that heat pumps give, or you could block your hot water during inefficient and expensive times of use. I may set a 55 degree store temperature when the tariffs drop to one certain price, and up to 70 degree store temperature when the tariffs drop really low, or you have surplus PV energy. Yes, heat pumps can now heat hot water up to 70 degrees. And mine does this at an efficiency of around 300% when it's 17 degrees outside, as you can see here. If we assume 45 degrees store temperature, it's my usual store temperature, this is 25 degrees above the room temperature, so taking it to 70 degrees means I'm doubling the amount of energy in that cylinder to help use and store energy when it's cheap. You also have another huge advantage to use in heating season. You get to use the entire thermal mass of your house too by setting varied room temperatures or blocking heating when necessary. What I do love about Mixergy is their innovation around utilizing stratification, which is something we talk about a lot in our training and can definitely improve efficiencies with all technologies. Although I do think the Mixergy tank only really suits the use of an immersion or when coupled with a gas boiler to minimize gas usage rather than for use with a heat pump. It could also be a good solution if you're staging your transition to heat pump or have a niche setup. One last thing, this review is not to be confused with the Mixer G IHP cylinder, which essentially incorporates a heat pump on top of a cylinder and looks absolutely fantastic. I can't see much use for the extra expense of this if you already have a heat pump, but as a standalone unit, I love it. That's all for this one. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.